Now to Jay Peak, the big resort near Vermont's border with Canada. The EB-5 fraud scandal triggered by former management is now finally over, as you just heard. This week, Canada announced an end to remaining border restrictions. That's good for Jay Peak. Now hundreds of resort employees gearing up for the winter season with promising new ownership. Joining us this morning, Steve Wright. He's the president and CEO at J Peak, subject of a lot of news of late. Welcome to NBC5 In Depth. Thanks for having me, Stuart. Well, we're very happy to have you. So the big news uh, that uh, the uh, court has signed off on the sale of J Peak to Pacific Group Resorts, uh, and you sound pretty pleased about that. Yeah, very, uh, very happy on behalf of uh, both myself and the staff that, uh, you know, the receivership period, which is starting to go on seven years here, is starting to uh, wind up and come to a close. You wrote uh, to your customers and to your staff, uh, this has been a long time coming. This news gives us great hope for the future. Uh, after uh, six and a half years of receivership, two years of COVID, uh, that it was worth sticking around. Um, things seem to be turning, uh, but I want to ask you first about the sale. $76 million for J Peak. Uh, what does that include and what does that not include? Well, it includes uh, the entire sort of resort infrastructure, right? So, so winter operations, um, a spa, an ice rink, a golf course, recreation fields, uh, three hotels, 300 condos, um, about 12 uh, restaurants, uh, give or take, an indoor climbing facility, and uh, thankfully it includes what I would consider the most resilient uh, staff in the in the ski industry at this point as well. So, so everything. The whole shooting match, yeah. Okay, and uh, when will the deal close? Uh, we're still moving towards uh, firming up a date there. There's still some work to be done on transferring the uh, the ground lease between the resort and the state of Vermont between uh, forests and parks, but. Our intention is to, uh, as we get into later October, uh, certainly before the beginning of the ski and snowboard season, that we'll have a done deal and that we'll, uh, that we'll move forward with PGRI. And all of the rain this week is um, in encouraging to you, uh, filling up those snowmaking ponds? Fantastic. I mean, I'm probably, you know, ski resort operators in the state of Vermont and in New England are probably some of the few who enjoyed the last, you know, 96 hours of deluge that we've had here. But we were in a, a pretty moderate drought situation leading into the stretch, and it's uh, more than made up for it at this point. Um, we were all sort of waiting to, to find out whether the buyer of J Peak uh, had the word Altera or Vale in it. Um, it didn't. Why is this um, sort of a better fit? Well, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a good question. I mean, it, it, there, were, there was lots of interest from the endemics, you know, the, the folks in the industry. Um, and you know, PGRI fills sort of a unique tranche in the in the business in that they're sort of a middle market. Uh, they run middle market resorts where the resorts are responsible for managing the areas themselves, uh, creating relationships with the customers themselves. Um, they they provide sort of macro support for the brands in terms of capex and uh, helping them get the funding for pieces of the infrastructure improvements that they need. Uh, but the brands themselves run the resort, and it was important for us uh, to be able to continue to do those sorts of things because we're proud of of the brand that we build. And, and on top of that, the relationship with our staff and our customers that has has grown alongside that. How many employees do you have in the um, winter and the, when you're fully yeah, staffed? Pre-pandemic, the number had arched close to you know, 1,100, 1,200 employees. Uh, now we're in, that, in a post-pandemic environment where we've calibrated the operations a little bit differently. I think that number is going to top out at around eight or nine hundred. You were profitable last winter. Uh, yeah, we were had our uh, the best winter in our history. Um, so you're you're gearing up for the fall for the winter, and uh, Pacific Group Resorts will honor the Indy Pass that um, is sort of a hybrid product uh, involving independent ski resorts uh, around the country. Yeah, it's, it's a product that we jumped on two years ago when the Canadian border initially closed. It's a product that allows for, uh, for one price, it allows for up to two days of skiing and snowboarding at a, at a multitude of resorts. We were the number one redeemed uh, resort on that pass every year that we've been on it. And that's a nationwide product. And we'll be on it again this year. And then 
you know, as to further years, we'll make that decision with our with our partners at PGRI and see what makes the most sense for both us and the uh, and the company. Well, Jay Pika, the, the northernmost resort uh, relies heavily on Canadians, and you alluded to to the challenge uh, with the border the last couple of years. But this week, the Canadian government signaled uh, it's going to relax things further and do away with that Arrive Can app, which has sort of been a pain in the butt uh, for those wishing to cross. That's good news. Yeah, for sure it is. I mean, when the Canadian uh, government and the U.S. government got together and, and uh, made sense of, of loosening those restrictions back in you know, late March or April, we saw the diehard Canadians come back uh, for sure. But uh, the Arrive Can app, although it's it's seamless and actually pretty easy, uh, that dilettante Canadian visitor sort of stayed away, I think. And um, I think that this will this will do nothing but increase the likelihood that the index of Canadians we'll see here is going to jump in a meaningful way. Where do you hope Jay Peak will be in a in a couple of years once this uh, this EB five uh, situation is in the rear view fully? Well, I, you know, I hope that we continue to grow in increments, right? I don't think that um, you know we don't need uh, all of the skier visits in one year. We don't need all of the revenue in one year. That's a conversation that we continually have with uh, staff here. Is that you know growing in increments? You know. Uh, sustainable growth uh, is something that we want to focus on. And I think we'll, we'll continue to do that as we go forward. Steve Wright, president and uh, CEO at Jay Peak Resorts. Uh, congratulations and thanks very much for being with us. Appreciate you having me on, Stuart. You bet.